right, Aquarians, welcome to the month of April. Um, let's go in your reading and see what is going to be coming up in the month of April. Um, this month of April is a fire energy, you or air. So you can be aware of uh, um, what is happening and transpiring, um, especially when you have uh, a month of fire and you're in air energy, you got to be aware of what is coming up. Let's look at your major issues in the month of April. So we have the energy of um, the founder and the founder is the energy of your boss. This is an authoritarian figure in your life. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring for you, Aquarian, um, you are dealing in the first week with an authoritarian angel. And this is something that to do with your work because uh, the general energy is the, the institution, corporation, the uh, air event. And what you have here is the energy of the founder. And the founder is the energy of authoritarian. Okay, so some sort of a situation with manager in your company. Be aware of this. This is going to be happening and transpiring. All right, so be aware of uh, that energy then we see the energy of uh, the visionaire the corporation institution so obviously a lot of you aquarians in this month of april is going to be having some sort of an issue with your boss or people in a corporation institution so we have fire and we have hurt in the third week, we see the truth is coming out, a corporation institution, some sort of a truth, some sort of a information is going to be coming out, uh, out of a corporation institution. They're now recognizing something. Um, there was some sort of a secrets that was kept. Now people are recognizing and seeing the truth and is recognizing that a corporation institution had a whole lot of secrets. So that's the water energy. So you will have fire, earth and water. The last energy in the fourth week is that balance is going to be coming in because now with some sort of a secrecy that came out, balance is going to be coming in. This is temperance. The energy of temperance is an earth energy. So you have a whole lot of balance that you're going to be having in um, in this year. OK, so um, this is a wonderful energy because what it is actually doing um, for a lot of you is that it is um, basically um, showing up things and situation that was going on in a corporation institution. So Aquarians, and we're calling up on the angels of the Aquarians to come in in order to show the Aquarians what energies um, with the Minder or Connor that they have uh, to deal with in uh, um, this timeline. Um, the month of April 2021 okay so okay so we have some message here that is very important for you guys so, so in the first week we see the energy of the four of Tauron in the, the, the reverse position the four of Tauron so, so there is some sort of information that is going to be coming out about money and um, something where your boss or um, your husband or a masculine energy something about a whole lot of money that has to do with a man some sort of a masculine energy um, is going to be coming out that is a bank financial institution that sort of a situation then we see the apocalypse and it is the seven of the veils and the seven of the veils is about water seven of uh, uh, water and a lot of you if you are you own a company um, a lot of clients is going to be coming in so this is good if you are customer service and that sort of a thing but this is about emotions emotions and a lot of you have emotions about a whole lot of money with a bank financial institution and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out this corporation could have to be paying you um aquarian back a whole lot of money okay so if you notice um the founder the four of tombs the four of tombs is the four of pentacles and then we have the, the seven of veils this is the seven of cups energy where some sort of emotional situation with a corporation institution and some sort of a unfair game that was played 
In the second week, you have the energy of the visionaire. And the energy of the visionaire, you're standing very, very strong, very strong towards a bank financial institution, a corporation where get money. It could be that um, an ex-boss have to pay you a whole lot of money um, because they have recognized what this ex-boss, ex-supervisor, ex-manager have done to a lot of you. And this is going to be good. Then we see the two of thorns. The two of thorns. This is Jupiter. Jupiter in in Capricorn. Jupiter in Capricorn. So obviously, a lot of you are dealing with bank, financial institution, or money that was supposed to come to you and never came to you. And they're going to be recognizing what has transpired. Where is this money? And you're going to be receiving this money back. Okay. So um, this is wonderful, wonderful news. Um, that is going to be coming up. Jupiter in Capricorn. This energy of Jupiter in Capricorn is a very, very positive energy. It is letting you know that there was some sort of an inconsistent situation in the bank or financial institution. They're recognizing that a whole lot of you should have received some sort of a money which you didn't receive. And they're going to be going back and looking at where this money is. So money is going to be coming back in the second week. This could be also something to do with your taxes, where money is coming in from your taxes. So um, the first and second week for you, Aquarians, is going to be um, extremely good. Then when we look at the third week, the dreamer, the dreamer of the candle. And the dreamer of the candle... Um, it is the energy of uh, um, the, um, the, the um, message. So love, love is going to be here. Love is going to be staying. A lot of people at the workplace, love in the home. This is going to be good. Some sort of information came out about your partner or your loved ones, a child, um, some sort of a, uh, information that was kept against your child is now out. A lot of people are going to be recognizing the truth. The energy of the dreamer is about uh, the young, young energy that is coming in. So a young energy, some sort of a secrecy of about a young energy. And they're going to be recognizing what has transpired with this young person and the secrets that is going to be coming out. This young person could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion, but they're going to be recognizing some sort of a truth about this young person. Then we see the Two of Candles, and this is the Two of Wands. The energy of the Two of Candles is the Two of Wands. And uh, um, a Cancer, it's coming up as a Cancer for some of you, wanted some sort of a new start, but they're going to be recognizing what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of issues. Now, we see it as a cancer, but it can be a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person that wanted to have some sort of a new start, but they're going to be recognizing something. A corporation institution is going to be recognizing something. People in authority is going to be recognizing something. You two have dualities. Money is going to be returning and some sort of information about a fire sign person. Um, is going to be coming out and a young fire sign person and a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person, okay? Then we look at the fourth week and the energy of the fourth week has to do with, yeah, the Ten of Bells, the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords, so people are going to be recognizing some sort of a information. A corporation institution is going to be recognizing some sort of a information about a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, and what this person have done. So a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion at the workplace, or it could be your child, they're going to be recognizing some sort of a disturbing news about this person and what this person have done. And they're going to be bringing a balance to this. So this is going to be wonderful. The last energy we have is uh, the mystic of the bells. So a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is going to be recognizing... And this is coming up as a Gemini person is going to be recognizing some sort of an unconventional situation. If you men, um, you men are going to be finding out some sort of information that was disturbing or very disturbing information. So you men, um, whatever is transpiring, you're going to be finding out some sort of a disturbing information and try to bring some sort of a balance to what was happening and transpiring. 
so 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 this is a clear clear message um that is coming up for you guys this message is a clear um this message people are now recognizing um what was happening and transpiring i like to clear my deck as i work so in the middle we and the energy of this month for you aquarians uh, there is something coming out about um if you have a child and this child is a pisces cancer or a scorpion person whoever this child is and whatever that was happening in a corporation institution this can be a school of uh, um whatever um this could be the city all whatever that was happening and transpiring to a child that is a, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, I see a whole lot of information is going to be coming in. On the other hand, this is love. A whole lot of love is coming to you. Um, I see at home, a lot of you are going to be happy and a lot of you are going to be balanced out. Some of you could be moving in with a partner. Some of you could be sharing and moving in with a partner. This is going to be good. This is going to be fantastic. Happiness and joy return in your life and return on the home front wow that is beautiful beautiful ladies and gentlemen so um some of you could be meeting someone new and some of you are going to be moving back in whether with your family or just moving back in uh, moving in with someone new that is definitely coming up let's look at this energy the first week remember the first week go back and look at uh, the first week you're dealing with a corporation institution and your manager, your boss, it can be a bank, financial institution, because their money, they're going to be recognizing how much money that was stolen from some of you. It could be that some of you have bought something, they've overcharged you. However, this is coming up. It has to do with a bank, financial institution, and a lot of emotional a situation around this bank and financial institution. And they're going to be re recognizing that a whole lot of money was stolen and they're going to be trying to help you guys to resolve this problem or this issue. It could have been someone in authoritarian, authoritarian figure that took a whole lot of money. They're going to be right now recognizing and finding out what this person have done. Okay. Um, yeah. So obviously a lot of you um, are going to be dealing with a bank. Okay. Um, or a manager at the workplace, a bank or a manager of the workplace, a supervisor, someone with authoritarian figure that has uh, tried and took something or create some sort of a problem for a lot of you. Um, they're going to be recognizing that an Aries man, an Aries businessman has took a whole lot of money from you guys and this money was not for them. And they're going to be recognizing and trying to resolve the situation in order to bring back some sort of a balance to you. So an Aries businessman, a lot of you are going to be dealing with an Aries businessman and they're going to be recognizing what this Aries businessman have done and how this Aries businessman has stolen from a lot of you. And this is going to be happening. Um, where they're going to be trying to resolve some sort of a problem and situation. You st stand strong. So it could have been someone who you rented a place from or someone who was taking information and data from you and taking a lot of money on the false pretend. The second week, we have the visionaire. And the visionaire is a corporation institution. And it has to do with a bank financial institution. Um uh, it can also come up in different, different ways where they're going to be recognizing this company. This uh, company is going to be recognizing something about a whole lot of money. And um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion is connected. A young Pisces Cancer Scorpion. This person is a, um, a young energy. They're going to be recognizing this bank financial institution is going to be recognizing what this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person have done and how this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person got away with a lot of money. And I see that a um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is going to be recognizing that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person have gotten away and took a lot of money on the false pretend the money wasn't theirs. And I see that they're going to be coming down on this person and try to regain all of the money freezing their account 
because they recognize that this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person took a whole lot of money from a bank financial institution by accessing data that was not theirs. And I see that they're investigating this because whenever this Aquarian, whenever Aquarian energy, whenever um, this air energy, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra purse come up in the reverse, that means there is some sort of an investigation that is happening. And they're going to be recognizing that a young person, it could be your child, and it's not showing up as your child. It's showing up as a young person in a bank financial institution or um, a young child that took someone else's detail and get money from a bank financial institution. So this could be a situation where the tax company is recognizing that some of you did not get some money and that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is the one that has access and took this money. Okay, so be aware of that. Uh, I see you have long-term stability with this corporation institution, and they are going to be returning the money back to you. Okay, whether it's money, whether it's data, whether it's information, it is coming up as money. And whoever did this, this uh, corporation is going to be standing their grounds uh, and is going to be making sure that this money is returned. Um, because they recognized that there was some sort of a foul play where people took money on the false pretend and now they're putting the puzzle together and recognizing what has happened and transpired. So if you notice, uh, you're going to be celebrating, celebrating coming out of an issue, celebrating a corporation is going to be helping you to resolve a situation and really celebrate. Celebration is in the second week for some of you. Some of you, it could be the third week you have to look at uh, where go back and look at uh, um, the season energy because we're in the Aries going in Taurus um, so this is going to be coming up in the season energy so go and look at the two um, last week in the air the Aries season energy to see what is transpiring who are these people what is the corporation but you stand strong so it could be also um, and rent management who try to take money on the false pretend and they're going to be recognizing this all right, let's look at the third week. It's a water week where information is going to be coming out. And the information that is going to be coming out is going to be bringing some sort of an emotional imbalance, okay? But you're go you're standing strong because the four of wands is here and you're going to be standing strong. And whatever that is coming out about a house, a bank, a financial institution, a corporation, you're going to be emotional, but it is positive. You're in the upright. Um, it's as if you're emotional, but you are taking... Um, 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 you, you're being loyal to yourself and you're standing up for injustice and equality, okay? So the seven of uh, um, cups is as if you're standing up for injustice and equality because some sort of a secret comes out in a corporation institution and they're recognizing that some of you were played or some of you were overcharged or some of you, some sort of an imbalance that was transpiring is going to be balancing out. Love is going to be coming back in the house, a whole lot of love. So, um, Easter is coming up, so this could be a whole lot of love in the house. A whole lot of love is going to be returning in your life because of some sort of information that came out. People are going to be recognizing um, that a lot of you were speaking the truth about a corporation institution and what this corporation institution have done. Then we see they're going to be finding out that there was a whole lot of lies a whole lot of uh, lies, a whole lot of information that people were being very dishonest and they're going to be recognizing that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person have not been honest. And this person was looking for some sort of a new start, using someone else's information data, using um, people to get a new start. And they're going to be recognizing how dishonest because they're not finding out the truth about a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person and how dishonest um, this person is and what this person have done. And they're going to be recognizing that this person was trying to get some sort of an offer. They're going to be bringing it to an end because they're going to be recognizing that this person has been very dishonest and has been using data and information lying um, to create some sort of a, a instability in other people's life. And people are going to be recognizing that. Then when we look at the last week, this last week is Earth Energy. 
And a lot of you could be dealing with the Virgos and the Virgos are going to be recognizing the full play um, of a uh, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion person. Okay, this person is a dreamer. Okay, and this person, they're going to be finding out the full play of this person and how this person got a whole lot of money. Um, and you're going to be making a decision over this person or a decision for this person. This person could be your child that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion person or your child or your lover that get away with a whole lot of money. And they're going to be recognizing how this person did it and is going to be um, blocking this person because they recognize the dishonesty of this person. And a Gemini is now aware of what this person was doing so a lot of you men this could be your child or this could be a lover and you're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of uh, your lover and recognizing the unfair games that was played um where your lover has treated some of you um wrongly and if you are a gemini you're going to be recognizing something about your child or something about your lover, lover where your lover had lied and all of their lies is now coming out. So I know, ladies and gentlemen, but you know, this is the situation. It's as if some of you Aquarians um, were in some sort of a karma, karma um, lies, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, man or woman. But there was lies because the energy of the dreamer is a young person, okay? There was a lot of lies from this young person and their secret is going to be coming out because now someone uh, is like a Virgo and a Gemini is now looking at some sort of a data, some sort of a situation, recognizing this. So, um, write these numbers down, please. Two of, uh, you're going to be dealing with money and you're going to be dealing with uh, offers okay so um money is going to be returning to a lot of you um you're going to be emotion but positive emotion because money is going to be returning to some of you and i see that a a man wanted some sort of a new offer but it's not going to be coming in so you men that was open for some sort of a new offer it might not come in because people are going to be recognizing um that you together with a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person have created a, a whole lot of problems and issue and they're now going to be recognizing um, what has happened and transpired. So men, be aware of who is this young person because and the visionary, the visionary is a corporation institution. The visionary, the dream or dreamer of can, can, so, um, candles and uh, the mystic of the bells, the mystic of the bells is you men, um, that is going to be affected by a young person. This person is a dreamer. It's a page. It's a lover or your child or it's your partner, the lover, the child. Um, that have created a whole lot of problems and people are now going to be recognizing. So we see a bank financial institution recognize some sort of a secrecy of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, how they have gotten a lot of money. And a whole lot of emotional situation is in this corporation institution. People in authority is now looking and seeing the secrets of how this young person got away. But they, they haven't got away because now things are opening up and now they're recognizing how this young person had a fool a corporation institution. And a lot of you Aquarius now stand strong because you have evidence of what a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person have done. Then we recognize that a how a, a, a financial institution there was some sort of a secrets and lies over a house, and people are going to be recognizing the secret and lies over a house or the secret and lies in your home is going to be coming out. And the two of ones, the two of candles, and this um two of uh, tumors, which is money, something about money and a house, and they're going to be recognizing now. The corporation institution is going to bring in a balance to this because they recognize that you men um, could be caught up in a situation where you had collaborated with a young lover or with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion and they're now recognizing and finding out what has transpired. So some of you men, if you had lied in the past about um, a offer, um, they're going to be recognizing 
what has happened and transpired. So we see the founder is um, um, the founder is uh, some sort of authoritarian figure in a corporation institution. It's a bank financial institution. They're going to be recognizing some foul play. A lot of emotional situation at the home. Secrets is going to be coming out about secrecy that was kept about a house or a home or a business. A lot of you are going to be receiving money that a, um, a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person had took. Um, this money is going to be coming back. They're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness over some sort of an offer. Or it's like someone apply for something, but they're going to be recognizing that the person that apply for something, they're going to be recognizing the dishonesty about this person that apply for something. And they're going to be recognizing that a Gemini man had offered and wanted something, but they're not going to be giving this Gemini man what he has asked for because they're going to be recognizing that this Gemini man with someone had created some sort of a um, fault. So a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of communication, a lot of you, a whole lot of communication is there. And whatever this communication is all about, this communication is bringing balance to some sort of a situation because um, secrets is out. All right. So in the week before the third week, some sort of a secrets came out and people are now looking at uh, um, the data information, a whole lot of communication. So a lot of you might be having um, to deal with some sort of a situation where um, some of you might be um, investigated, okay? Um, because a whole lot of information came out. The Ten of Swords conflicts, the Ten of Swords conflicts, 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 because they recognized whatever that was transpiring, that there was a whole lot of lies that was told, a whole lot of conflicts is coming out. Now people are recognizing that people were lying. They're recognizing that a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion young woman had lied, and they're recognizing what has transpired. Young woman or man, Pisces Cancer, young woman or man had lied, and they're recognizing the truth. You men, an end is going to be coming in. You men were caught up in some sort of an unconventional situation. This is the energy of the cross, okay? This is the energy of the cross, where they're going to be ending a situation for some of you men that was caught up in some sort of an unconventional situation, ending a situation for a Gemini person, a Gemini man, because they, um, they recognize that a Gemini man, together with his um, lover or his child, have created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issue. This Gemini man will be freed because this Gemini man is now going to be recognizing the foul play of his child um, or uh, of a loved one, a sister, a brother, and what they have done and how they have created a whole lot of problems and issue. And this is all coming out. So I see a lot of you are going to be happy that they recognize that a whole lot of money um, was actually taken from you and people are now going to be finding out the truth. All right. Let's see what is the energy. So number two, um, it was going to be playing a significant role. Number two, a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. They're recognizing what this person have done. Okay, could be a lover. And they're now recognizing that this person have lied about a whole lot of money. Um, so number two, you're in your foundation. I see a lot of you men are going to be finding out about your child or a young lover and what they have created. Um, a lot of happiness and joy. A lot of you are going to be celebrating over a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. Um, their lies is now out and people are recognizing. I see a whole lot of conflicts around this young dreamer. It is a young person because it's, it's the energy of the dreamer and they're recognizing. So this person is between the ages, ages of uh, 18 and 45. It could be some of you, a lover that came in and the lies and deceptiveness of this lover. Oh, deceptiveness, deceptiveness. So you guys have the energy of deceptiveness. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you're going to be finding out that your lover or your child or um, someone in a corporation institution was deceptive and um, wide open, deceptively. Um, they were very deceptive and doing it wide open. It's as if they thought that they you know, had the power 
to deceive a lot of people wide open. It was not done in secrecy, but now they are being caught, okay? So number 42, wide open, they have been caught. So a lot of you went in and was seeking, 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 and recognize how someone deceptively, openly did something deceptively, and now people are recognizing it by seeking they recognize what this person have done. So you have deceptive, um, deceptiveness, that is a number um, 25. Then you have number 42, 25 is 7, 42 is 6, and then you have 9. So write these down, people. 2, um, 25 is always 7, um, 42 is always 6, and 9. And these are the energies that you're going to be working with. So let's see where does this energy place. So deceptiveness. Okay, so this is really wonderful. All right. So number nine is about light is going to be shedding the end of the third week or going in the fourth week. Light is going to be shedding. And if you are trying to figure out something, go seek in a um and in the third week going in the fourth week go seek that is the energy of number nine something is going to be over a lot of you men are going to be coming out and getting out of some sort of unconventional play that was happening and transpiring um and at the end of april you men are going to be getting out then when we look the deceptiveness the deceptiveness has to do with a whole lot of money and a lot of you um, number seven and seven. So seven and seven, a lot of you are going to be dealing um, with uh, um, a scorpion, a scorpion. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a scorpion and recognize the deceptiveness of a scorpion and what a scorpion have done. So this energy is like a lot of you are going to be dealing uh, with a uh, this this deceptiveness illusion some emotional situation where a scorpion deceptively kind of tried to create some problem number seven is your energy then we um look at uh, number 42 number 42 is wide open wide open and uh, it has to do with money and an offer to money so six is always about materialistic stability and they're saying that the world is wide open and you can make a lot of money if you work hard enough to accumulate that you can make this money, okay? And this is going to be good. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you have two, you have seven. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a scorpion. Um, um, and uh, uh, seven, you have to, um, four, six and you have nine. And you're getting a, a, a bonus with a major arcana coming in, working with the um, your intuition and guides uh, to show up some sort of information that you were not aware that was happening. So a lot of conflicts is happening, a lot of conflicts, 12, 11, 36, an end is coming. So a lot of conflicts, a lot of communication, a whole lot of conflicts is going to be coming to an end in the month of April, all right? So the conflicts is going to be coming to an end in the month of April. You're dealing with deceptiveness. So it is uh, the end of conflicts to the deceptiveness that was going on, all right? So the end of conflicts uh, to the deceptiveness that was going on. Deceit, deceit, okay? Wow. Isn't this wonderful? This is wonderful. This is beautiful. I got to go. I do love you guys. I wish I could stay. Remember to go check out your um, Aries season reading. It's the two first week. It's going to be affecting you. Um, write this number down. Two, seven, six, and nine. Two, seven, six, and nine. I got to go. Namaste.